Hello, this is Christmas Eve on 12-24-2022, and uh, we've invited some people to join us in this Zoom Christmas evening with Janie McLeod in Verona, Pennsylvania, and Scott and Sandy and Kate. Ah, looks like David Thurston is here. Hello, David. I see you've joined. So great. Are you there? I can't hear you yet. Ha! Hello, Scott. Hello, David. Merry Are Christmas. You... Merry Christmas. So nice to see you. Nice to see you. Are you in Atlanta? Yes. Hello, Jane. Hey, David. <laughs> so excited. Mary Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for joining. We just want Thanks to for... say hi. Things How are, are you? Are things okay? Things are good, except that it's 23 degrees in Atlanta. Are you in Nevada? Atlanta, uh, Georgia. Atlanta. Atlanta. David, that's nuts. It's so cold down here. It's crazy. I thought I'd get away from the cold. Yeah. Are you with your Sidwell friends or your uh, Swarth Sidwell friend? Uh, that's Sidwell, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you um, getting out in the cold at all? Uh, just briefly at times. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you? David, I'm glad to see you, and I hope to see you in the new year. And I'm. We've got some other people here, so I'm going to excuse myself. All right, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, and we'll talk. Right. Let's talk in the new year. Great, let's. So You're not that far away. Yeah, we could try. Let's try to get together. I'd love it. All right. Wonderful. Super. Have a good holiday. All right, you too. Good Bye -bye. to see you. Are, are, are you going to celebrate Christmas in any way tomorrow? Uh, will you share presents and things like that? Yeah, yeah. You got a tree full of, with all kinds of stuff under it. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And did you and fly then, south or did you drive or some other conveyance train? I, I flew and just uh, made it before everything got crazy. Great. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Uh, how's Pittsburgh? Uh, Pittsburgh is cold. Zero degrees yesterday. Uh, Ten degrees today. Um, new opportunity to uh, record to a credit possibly with um, WASC with uh, Middle States Commission on Higher Education with offices in Philadelphia for World University and School um, mm -hmm. and uh, just emailed the outgoing president of MIT today Raphael Reif and the director of the MIT Open Courseware um, project at this point uh, so um Keeping fingers crossed that um, that accreditation goes forward, maybe in communication with MIT. Um, Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how's tutoring going? Uh, very well. It's been very busy. Exciting. Yeah, good to have work. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And are you... Um, lining up the same uh, students in January or does thing do things pick up uh, or with these things slow down with college applications in for example oh yeah no um yeah I might well maybe one maybe they'll take their papers less seriously but I'm pretty sure the they'll probably stay pretty steady <laughs> and I'm also hoping to do a more regular stint of uh, tutoring in the public schools great and about six hours a week so that's a good good gig too are these charter schools or are they other schools uh this is actually a program at a regular district high school that has it's for older kids who are trying to graduate so they're a little more focused which is good for me easier to work with right so uh hopefully that'll be steady so we'll find out this spring because it feels good and it adds to the paycheck. Oh. Are they like 19 and 20 year olds or 
um, yeah. 25 year olds because uh, yeah. they've uh, didn't finish and or are there even 30 or 50 year olds, for example, wanting to finish? Uh, so far, it looks mostly like 18 to 22. Yeah. OK. Exactly. Yeah. Great. But trying to work. They're trying to work. They're trying to do, you know, hold two jobs or maybe they're almost homeless. So it's challenging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But feels good to try to pitch in with them. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Are you uh, parked in Pittsburgh? So I'm. Uh, I moved back uh, east here um, a little bit, even seeking asylum of all things. And uh, am uh, hearkening to what my friend Ed Smy said this spring, that um, the uh, he tried to precipitate my moving back into Canyon, California, on uh, on Good Friday, April fifteenth, uh, April April fifteenth. But when he came over for tea and smoothies, uh, physically on Wednesday the thirteenth, um, he suggested that it wasn't safe yet. And in um, March, uh, a month earlier, he had said, um, possibly in communication with the California governor's office, um, Gavin Newsom's office, because he grew up in the same neighborhood in San Francisco, um, that uh, the, I could potentially have that place in Canyon for a song, um, maybe because of uh, Henna's criminality in Canyon. I'm not sure um, what the situation is. So I'm a little bit in a liminal state, um, waiting to hear further about that. I I've called Ed a little bit, been in touch with Ed in email, but haven't heard from him for a while. So I'm uh, waiting to see what happens. Uh, potentially, I'll move back to Canyon um, September 1, 2023. Uh, we'll see. Cool. All right. Yeah. Your, your heart's in California. I like the vision of California. It depends. If I were to meet a 25-year-old MD partner, wife-to-be, and her career was emerging in Pittsburgh further, um, who knows? But um, maybe World University and schools, medical schools would be farther along than, uh, further along than, and um, uh, she would find an avenue in, in California. Who knows? So I... It's, um, well, I thought of you because I, I watched that documentary, Laurel Canyon. Have you seen that one? I have it. Um, remind me where Laurel Canyon is. Uh, it's just above L.A. It's just just above the smog in L.A. And that's where all the in the, in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s. That's where all the musicians were. Huh. Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, Joni is Mitchell, the Birds, the Doors. And then eventually the next round was Jackson Brown and Bonnie Raitt, but everybody was there and mamas and the papas, the turtles, the monkeys, they all lived there and they all would like walk over each other. So it was just the California dream. You got to see it. It's going right down your it's, <laughs> Is it said, a new film or when was it? When the when did the film come out? No, for a couple of years, but not, it's pretty recent, maybe 18 or 19, but it's, it's, it's pretty well done. It's pretty well done. So I recommend it. Cool. I think you'll like it. I definitely think you'll like it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, ha I'll have a look <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. it's that california uh the dream they were living it so what, what yeah. interesting uh that dream aspect that vision aspect of california um if you don't take into account um maybe the negative vortex that sunhart described about harbin hot springs my field site or um maybe a negative vortex in canyon uh is great in can in california compared to pittsburgh in my experience um so they do cover it. they do Tra manson was there too eventually so they they show the how it, the darker side that reared its head too but yeah you're right canyon california has um its craziness is in that way too yeah, yeah differently from pennsylvania pennsylvania i've been saying to people is more stayed or settled somehow maybe um more could be a more traditional marriage could be possible or um, similar or um, old fashioned um, kind of connection. Uh, who knows? Um, yeah. Maybe that yeah. opening will emerge here in, in Pittsburgh and where we would go after that. I don't know. But, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, so back to California, if you have, if you can, though. Yeah. That's where it sounds we'll like. See, the we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And meanwhile, you're here for the winter, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was great to see Tim Lenderking for two good hikes uh, recently along the CNO Canal, um, a, a historical area um, that you probably know something about as a historian. Um, and even it would be fascinating to develop um, sort of a realistic virtual earth for history in the back of our glasses and be able to walk along the CNO Canal in 1885 and uh, speak to people um, and have that be iterating in its um, sort of um, historical data accumulation and, and synthesis. Um, interesting, uh, by, shaped by all of us. Uh, have you explored the CNO Canal as a historian very much? A little bit. Yeah, I really enjoy learning about the history. It's got a rich history to it. A lot of people focus on the Civil War uh, era, but there's a whole lot of going on. I guess it was a brief, you know, it, it didn't last long as far as a viable economic. I guess it lasted for a while, but it wasn't necessarily very viable after a very long time. Also called the Grand Ditch, I read That's recently. Right. Um, interesting. Uh, where we went both times in Western Maryland, uh, it was almost like uh, East Bay mud. The planners had gotten it right. The expanse of uh, natural forests, natural lands, just vastly uh, extending into the horizon was really uh, impressive. So the planners got it right maybe two centuries before um, the planners got it right uh, from Skyline Drive in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area East. Interesting. Um, yeah. yeah. It's also a lot of interesting stuff about the workers. You know, there's like these German Irish immigrants and they used to get in big fights. And, you know, there's a whole culture there that I don't think we know that much about that would be interesting to explore more. Uh, Come meet us for a hike out there sometime. If uh... that'd, be, that'd be fun. Yeah. Drop a line. Let me know. It'd be great. I, I go. Yeah. I've done hikes at different spots along the canal. So that'd be fun. I'd love to learn what you learn, what you know. Um, yeah, that would be fun. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Well, yeah, drop a line when you guys go. It'll be fun to get together again. That was a fun uh, get together we had in Tacoma Park. So That was really nice to see you in Tacoma Park uh, with Tim then uh, in August or September, uh, August, I guess. Um, did, yeah. did you talk Did you talk to the kidders about Tacoma Park? I haven't been in touch with them um, otherwise since, so uh, I will when we talk next. Um, <laughs> Great, yeah. Get Gretchen talking about it. She'll, she'll oh. light up. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, cool. I, wondered, I wondered if other people would join us this Christmas Eve here, but um, um, people haven't, in, interestingly. Um, we thought about lighting the tree, but I'm not sure we are going to light the tree, um, which is right in your sight, I think. Um, yeah. Here are the matches, um, but uh, <laughs> maybe we should. I don't know. Um, well, you. I guess there are other dates people can show up, right? So they've got choices. Yeah, maybe tomorrow people will. We'll see. Yeah. So. Well, and I'm going to actually head back up for dessert. So great. Uh, I just wanted to touch base. So glad uh, to see you on Christmas Eve. And uh, we're not singing carols this year as we did for decades as we lit the tree, but uh, maybe in uh, another year or something uh, with online. Great. So um, great. Thanks for uh, coming to Christmas Eve. Thanks for the invite. I so appreciate it. It was so nice to touch base with you guys. Have fun and Merry Christmas uh, in Atlanta. Merry All Christmas, right. friends. Merry Christmas. See ya. Bye.